So what's popping guys and into this video i'm going to be showing you how you can use third party services to essentially mint your runes so in this instance you know i'm going to be using old wallet to mint that manually in here we're going to be using luminex platform to essentially simplify the entire process because not everyone is super technical and to essentially onboard the masses we'll need third party services like luminex what you'll do let's say you want to go here and just search for let's mint and then you can do that and then you can do the rest of it if you know the name let's say you want to find this rune rune to moon if you know the name of the specific rune you're looking for you can do essentially rune and then you want to do dot to moon so this is essentially how you uh, look for the rune for the specific rune if you're going to do like rune space it's not going to search for anything so you have to do rune dot to and the rest of your rune name so let's say you found the rune that you want to mint so in this example i'm going to mint this one the best rune aab you can simply click on the mint button it's going to fill up all of these details on the site it's going to show you the ticker the mint how many times you want to mint you can see the pre-split you can mint up to 20 times but if you're going to do auto split you can do the batch minting which essentially is going to repeat them in 2500 to use the pre-split method you essentially need to have some utxo already split so i showed you how that worked in my previous video so you can use the luminex split utxos so in here you will need to prepare your utxos essentially if you want to mint some runes if you don't want to do that if you're not going to prepare anything you can use the auto split which is going to do that for you this is going to do the bulk in two blocks which is going to split and also mint so higher limits but slower if you're gonna do it faster if you if you're worried that someone might front run you you can definitely use the pre-split but you'll need to split your utxo before you're gonna start minting and also really important you can select your fees so i definitely recommend you guys to use the fast or custom so let's say you want to mint something now and you can see the current fee on the market is 70 sats per v byte and if you want to do a little bit more than that you'll need to go to luminex here you want to go to custom and then you want to say for example like 80 depends on the network fee so this is the testament so you don't need to worry about this but definitely try fast or custom and when you're going to be doing it on mainnet you want to do custom you want to go to here and whether you want to mint something acap you want to do more than the first block because you want to be within the first block so your transaction will be first you confirm so you can get the rune that you want also you can see my history so i play with that a little bit more i was selected as the beta tester so i already know how to use it so i'm just bringing you guys the alpha to essentially prepare you if you want to mint some runes so let's say i want to mint this rune right now and i'm going to mint it 20 times and i want to use the pre-split uh, method so now you'll need to have some utxos already split in your wallet if you don't have ones you can go and click on the open utxo splitter in here you'll see how many utxos you have already prepared for in your wallet so you can see i have seven and i will go back because i have already done that so i'm gonna go ahead and click on the custom and let's say we wanted to use 80. Uh, it doesn't really matter because this is the testnet you can use fast and your transaction will go through so now as you can see i send this transaction and you can see on the history tab that i have my transaction minting so it's pending you can go ahead and open your transaction in your mempool so you'll see that our transaction is supposed to be in the first block so you can see we need to wait uh, a few minutes for our transaction to confirm and once this is going to be confirmed we're going to go back to luminex and you'll see that our runes are going to be on the site so in the meantime i want to show you how we can actually go ahead and claim some testnet bitcoin you can google any testnet website and once you're going to be on the website you want to go to your unisat wallet or your xverse wallet it doesn't matter you want to go to settings and then you want to select the network so i am on the testnet right now so once you have that you can go to your wallet you can copy your wallet address you can paste that in there select the amount that you want to receive and then send the testnet bitcoin so you're supposed to get that almost instantly if you're not going to get it just try to use different website and wait a few minutes and try it again so now the next feature you can use is you can go and create your own rune which is called etching so in here let's say you want to just give it a name it doesn't matter what you can go ahead and you can set up the logo if you want you don't have to do it it's optional you want to do the um decimals so in my case i'm going to do zero because that's the divisibility amount that you can send your runes to second wallet let's say and uh, then you want to do a symbol then you want to do the max supply so i'm just going to do 21 million and then you want to do the limit per mint which is going to be 1000 it's just a preference if you want to do 100 or 10,000, you can do that as well you can also do the reserve supply so if you want to reserve something for yourself like for example 1000 you can do that and also we have the block mint so let's say you want to so let's say you want your rune to be live on the day of the halving so essentially what you'll do is to set up the block starting number as 840,000. Uh, but you can leave it zero if you don't know that and then i'm gonna do the fast and click on submit deploy so now this is going to take six blocks to confirm 
you can go to deploys and you can see now we have this max mint everything in progress so we're gonna pre-mine 1000 to myself and the rest of it it will be available for the public so everyone can mint it so now we can go ahead and use the auto split method so let's say i want to mint any rune that we can see available in here and we can mint it let's say 100 times so in this example we're gonna mint 10,000 runes so click on the mint button and then again your wallet is going to pop up you're gonna click on the sign and wait so now let's say you have some runes in your wallet ready and then you want to transfer it to another wallet so in this example i'm just going to switch wallet quickly to uh, this one for example and then go back to the first one then you want to select the rune that we want to transfer so we have let's say rune to the moon and you want to select the amount that you want to transfer so let's say we're going to send 5000 you want to set up the receiver address which is this and then you want to click on the fast or custom it doesn't matter and then you want to click on the transfer and sign it so this is how essentially how is it done if you want to transfer your rune from one wallet to another one so nothing really complicated and these, these services essentially allow us to make the entire process super easy. So now once we have this completed, you can go to alpha, which is the another tab you can use. And in here you have a ton of different tools. Like for example, you can see top runners. So a ton of people are minting this magic rune, magic runes IO. And here you can see 403 people minted it and we have almost 700 pendings. You can also see a few of different. So if you want to monitor it, you can also go over here and you can mint from this tab so when you're going to click on specific rune let's say you want to mint on the first one it's going to bring you to the first page with all of the details information already filled and after that you can just simply click on the mint button and also on my twitter i'm going to be hosting for you guys a giveaway so you can essentially start earning your points and then if you go to your explorer you'll see your address you'll see your balance and also you can see your source you're going to be basically rewarded with souls based on your platform usage these souls essentially will give you some perks you're gonna get access to the tools like for example you can see for alpha so you're gonna be getting some widely sports discounts and maybe in the future maybe they will do an airdrop i don't know i'm just speculating but maybe these points will basically give you some certain allocation when it comes to their official token so smash that thumbs up for the youtube algorithm subscribe to the channel and i'll see you in the next one